So good afternoon, YouTube. Hopefully you're all having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Um, we're going to do something slightly different today. Normally this would be a transfer update. It's not necessarily a transfer update. We are going to speak about Mikel Arteta. He done um, a little podcast yesterday evening with Ian Wright. And um, he spoke about quite a lot of things in regards to the club, in, in regards to um, the previous manager, how, <laughs> how he didn't have the energy right. We'll come to that in a minute. Uh, he spoke about Kieran Tierney. He spoke about quite a lot of things. Uh, we're going to go through him. But um, do stick a like on the video. Uh, do subscribe if you are new. And um, I forgot to put my um, my little banner across the bottom. Look at that. There we go. We're back again. Um, and listen, I will be back again at about half one with the Premier League transfer update. Then I'll be going live on FIFA on the gaming channel. Link in the description. I'll be going live on that at about half one, two o'clock. So... Um, so lots and lots and lots of stuff for me to do today. Five o'clock and nine o'clock, I'll be back as normal. And big up everyone who's watched the member stream we did. Um, everyone who was on it, big up yourselves. Um, and they said I could drop it out to public so you guys could watch it. So yeah. Um, but, 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 but we're going to start off with Mikel Arteta's comments. Um, <laughs> it's actually come out with quite a lot. Do you know what? I probably should have. Um, I probably should have just played the whole video, but I probably get copywritten for doing that actually. Um, but where should we start? There's so much to talk about in this. Um, I'll tell you what we do. He said, uh, "The moment we mention Arsenal, Ian, you know what that means around the world. Everybody wants to come here, and we have a really clear idea of what we are. It doesn't need much convincing." And if they do, for me, that's not a good starting point. If I have to convince a player to stay or to join us to Arsenal, it holds me back a little bit. Um, it has to be what we have to... I'll start that again. It has to be, what do we have to do? I want to play for that club and represent exactly the values and style of the play that I want. That is the kind of emotion I want to hear at the start. And the same with the players that are here. Once you finish, what are your feelings that you have towards the club? That is what really interests me. Um, will it be enough to convince Aubameyang to sign a new deal and stay at Arsenal, as well as getting a possible deal for Thomas Partey, though? That is a good question. Um, that wasn't asked in the podcast. That was just at the bottom of the article I was reading. But, um, listen, I totally disagree with what you're saying here. Um, nobody wants to come to us. Real talk. The biggest players on the planet do not want to play for Arsenal Football Club. Whilst it's great that he comes out and he talks a good game, and he does talk a good game, and this isn't an Arteta bashing, by the way, um, because people that have watched my channel for a while know that I didn't want Arteta as the manager. Um, I'm still not convinced by him. Um, and until he proves me otherwise, which he can't do right now, um, then I'm always going to be sceptical. But the one thing I will say he talks a great game, doesn't he? He does talk a good game. Um, you know, everybody wants to come here. Well, they don't, do they? Let's be real. We're a big club in terms of size of the fan base, online fan base, um, revenue stream. We're not a big club on the pitch. We're a tiny little dot on the pitch. You know, we're not feared by the biggest clubs in the league or in Europe. We're not even feared by the lowest teams in the league. Everyone thinks that they can come to the Emirates and get a point or four three points. When we go to their grounds, everyone will have a go at us. We're not the Arsenal we used to be when we were winning titles. And we haven't, for me, acted like a big club for nearly 20 years. Nearly 20 years. Yeah, as soon as we started letting go of some of them players uh, back, in the, back in the day, we started slipping and... The thing is, with the Arsenal fan base, a large percentage of them, oh, St. Totteringham's Day, we finished above Tottenham. Um, who cares? Genuinely, who cares? If you finish fourth and Tottenham finish fifth, you're third loser. That's how I see it. You haven't won a title, so what are you cheering for? You know, and for me, it's, not, it's nice that Arteta thinks that, but does he genuinely believe that? You know, does he believe that Arsenal are a big club in terms of on the pitch? Because it's all well and good him sitting there saying that, oh, we don't want to have to convince people to join or convince people to stay. 
well, it was only a few months ago that he convinced Granite Xhaka to stay when he was signing a new deal um, over in Germany for Werder Bremen, Hertha Berlin, one of them two. I can't remember. I always get mixed up, them two clubs. But um, apparently he convinced him to stay. Eddie and Ketia, he convinced him to stay as well when there was four teams lining up to take him out on loan in January. So it's all well and good saying on one hand, you don't want to have to convince people to stay. That's not a good starting point. But then on the other hand, you have convinced a couple of players to stay. You know, he said about Mustafi. Um, yeah, he has a future at the football club. Why? Why? I don't get that. I genuinely don't understand that. So yeah, if somebody could uh, answer that, that'd be fantastic. Uh, let's move on to... Um, Let's move on to the bit where he had a dig at Emery. Um, let's have a little look at this. Um, he said, uh, the transformation is happening. The club, uh, coming into the club at the moment wasn't easy. But when you mentioned a word, which was energy, and I felt that energy around the training ground and the stadium wasn't right for this magnificent club. I was here and I was lucky to play here so everyone first of all should feel in a certain way there was a lot of disconnection in many areas and i wanted to bring everyone together first of all to, uh, to make everyone understand how lucky we are to be here and a very clear direction that we want to be in um he then spoke about tierney kieran tierney he said um right he said that he'll be a magnificent player for the club i said i totally agree with you um, I'm looking really forward to working with him and giving him an opportunity to play. Um, his attitude, his commitment, his will, it's incredible. I think he's going to bring something special to us. It's a shame, um, but it's part of his development, the fact that he's been injured. Um, in your career, you go through these moments, and I challenge Kieran to say, Kieran, how are you going to react to that? You cannot feel sorry for yourself um, that this has happened. Okay. The level of expectation is now a bit higher, but you have to deal with that. Um, you are playing at a top club, a top expectation. Deal with it. You have everything to be successful here, and you have the best possible attitude that I know from a player. Go and lead your profession and enjoy it. That is that. Um, well, listen, I think we know that Kieran Tierney has got the winning mentality. He's probably the only one in that squad that has a winning mentality. Or well, David Louise, maybe, because they're serial winners. They win year after year after year after year, you know. And there's not many players that we've got in that team that are serial winners. You know, a lot of them are serial losers. You know, let's be real here. A lot of them are the bridesmaids. They get nearly there, but they don't quite step over the line. Yeah, Tierney's won everything in Scotland every single year. Treble trebles. You know, the guy's winning title after title after title after title. He's 22 years old. He's a quality left back, man. A quality left back. And I'm really excited to see him and Saka down that left-hand side. But at the end of the day, this all boils down to the question posed at the beginning. Are Arsenal a big football club? For me, in answer, in short, we're big in every aspect apart from on the pitch. Yeah, we don't act big on the pitch. We don't act big when we go and try and get players. Um, you know, players want to play here. I mean, that's some, such a stupid thing to say. They don't want to play here. Why don't you just admit that? <laughs> you know, but listen, I'd love to know your thoughts on all of that. Um, do you think we are a big club? Uh, do you think Arteta's right when he says we're a big club? Do you think he was um, he was right about the atmosphere around the ground? I do actually make him right on that, actually. I think he was um, spot on. The atmosphere weren't great. But the atmosphere can be fantastic. The results still weren't much better, were they? So um, I don't know. Listen, we've improved in certain areas. We've not improved in others. So, And uh, do you think they're right about Kieran Tierney? Do you think he's going to kick on and become that top draw left back we need? Apologies for the washing machine you can hear in the background. Um, I will be back in about an hour with a Premier League transfer update. So keep your eyes peeled for that one and stick a thumbs up on the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the gaming channel. That link is in the description and obviously subscribe to this one. I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.